Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! I'm going to perform the different methods of indexing. But before that, let's have a short review. This is a dividing head or indexing head, which is one of the most important attachments for the milling machine. It is used to divide the circumference of a piece of part into any number of equal parts, such as gears, splines, square, and hexagons. It is also used to hold the workpiece in the required position while the cuts are being made. Okay? Kagaya ng bevel gear with 45 degrees. The work may be indexed by the following indexing methods. First, direct indexing method, simple indexing method, and differential indexing method. The first method that I'm going to perform is direct indexing, which is the simplest method of indexing, but it can only be used for milling divisions that are evenly divisible into 24, 30, and 36. And the common divisions that can be obtained are the following. These are the whole circles or slots, 24, 30, and 36. For the 24 whole circle or slot, we have 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 divisions. For 30 whole circles or slots, we have 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30 divisions. And for 36 whole circle or slots, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36 divisions. Now let's perform the following procedure to obtain direct indexing method is as follows. First step. Disengage the worm from the wheel by swinging the worm disengaging bracket upward. This disengages the spindle from the index crank. Okay, ito yung di-disengage natin. This is the lever that will disengage the spindle from the index crank and the worm. Nasa loob na ang dividing head. Okay, so depende dun sa brand and model ng dividing head. Since ito ay Cincinnati, USA, ganito yung design niya, yung lever pang disengage sa worm at saka sa spindle or the index crank. Okay? I-rotate ko lang siya na counterclockwise. Yan. Yan, na-disengage na. Pwede ko na i-rotate yung spindle by hand. Step number two. Mount the proper indexing plate with the holes or slots facing the plunger pin. I'm going to cut hexagon or six sides. So what plate hole circles or slots that are divisible by six? So it can be 24, 30, and 36. So pipili na lang tayo doon. So, tingnan natin itong index plate na nandito sa spindle ng dividing head. Nasa likod ng chuck. Okay? Ito yung index plate para sa direct indexing. Tingnan nyo, there are three whole circles. Itong unang layer, which consists of 36 holes or slots. Pero itong uh, design ng dividing head is whole. 
Another is, we have the second whole circle, which consists of 30 whole circle. And the last is 24 whole circle. Okay, so since uh, nandito na yung plunger pin ko, nandito na sa 36 whole circle, ito na ang gagamitin natin. Tinan nyo yung plunger pin. Ayan, pumapasok dun sa hole. Para dito sa 36 whole circle. Next step, mount the workpiece in the dividing head, chuck, or between centers. Ito ang workpiece natin. Imount ko na sa 3 joule chuck ng dividing head. Ayan. Next step. Lock the spindle and cut the first surface or groove. Kaya ilalock ko na itong spindle natin. Karaniwan ng design ng dividing head, kahit anong brand or make, ay nandito sa kabilang side yung lock lever para sa spindle. Okay? Yan. Okay, I'm going to use vertical milling machine, knee and column type, with an end mill cutter. Okay, so we'll now cut the first surface of the workpiece. Okay, next step. Disengage the plunger pin from the indexing plate and unlock the spindle. Okay, ito. I-disengage ko itong plunger pin. This one. Yan. Okay, ma-disengage na. Then unlock the spindle. So next step, turn the indexing plate the proper number of holes or slots. Okay, since... 36 whole circle ang ginamit natin. I-divide natin sa 6 divisions or flat surface. Then, there are 6 holes on the 36 whole circle for each flat surface of the workpiece. Okay? Take note, hindi kasama yung hole kung saan naka-index or naka-engage yung plunger pin natin sa bilang na 6 holes. Handa natin. Okay, so engage na natin for the next flat surface. So dito sa my chalk, makikita nyo, hindi kasama yung bilang na hole na yan. Ha? Simulan natin dun sa next hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So dapat ang dito tayo. So, ikutin ko na by hand. Yan. Next step, engage the plunger pin and lock the spindle. Then, bago dumating yung hole, bitawang ko na ito ang plunger pin para ma-shoot. Yan. Kasi pag lumampas yan, ang gagawin natin, alimba, lumampas yung hole na pang-anim na hole. Hindi natin pwede ibalik basta Para bumalik sa butas yung plunger pin. Kailangan i-clockwise natin at least half of the complete turn. Yan, para mawala yung backlash. Then balik natin sa pang-anim na butas. Yan. Okay? Then lock na natin spindle. Next step, cut the remaining surfaces or groups in the same manner. Okay, so I will now cut the last five surfaces. Okay, the same manner. It is disengaged ko na yung plunger pin. Yeah. Then, count six holes ulit. One, two, three, four, five, 
6. Then disengage the spindle. Then rotate ko na yung spindle or index plate para sa pang 6 uli na hole. Yeah. Then na-engage ko na yung plunger pin. Then lock the spindle. And cut ole. Same manner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unlock the spindle. Disengage the plunger pin. Then rotate the spindle. Then engage the plunger pin sa pang anim na hole. Engage, then lock the spindle. Then cut. One, two, three, four, five, six. Engage, then lock the spindle. Okay, for the last cut, pang anim na flat surface. Itingnan nyo ulit, di-disengage ko na ang plunger pin, then unlock the spindle, then i-rotate ko na spindle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, pang anim na hole ulit, then lock the spindle, and cut the last flat surface. Okay, let's count the machine surfaces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So perfect. There are six flat surfaces. Okay, so that's how we obtained direct indexing method. Now let's have a Q&A portion. Prof. Jerry, magagamit pa ba ang direct indexing kapag higit sa 36 divisions ang gagawin? No. Direct indexing can only be used for the number of divisions that are divisible into 24 30 and 36. When a circle must be divided into more parts than is possible by direct indexing method, the simple indexing must be used. And this is what I'm going to perform on my next tutorial video. So please wait for it. Okay?